Hi, I'm Todd Ellis with Secure Networkers. I'm here today to talk to you about the differences between an MSP and an MSSP. Before I get started, give us a like or subscribe to our platform. So one of the more common things that you'll see, an MSP is kind of more of a traditional IT company. What they're doing is as a managed service provider, they are providing services that are going to make all the IT needs with inside of a company, and I'm talking about a business that the MSP is supporting. It's going to make the IT needs a little bit more streamlined. Basically, they're gonna have some type of remote management software, they're gonna have a lot of monitoring software, they're gonna have some type of uh, security levels in place, like a firewall, they're gonna have endpoint protection, they're gonna have different things that they're monitoring from an application standpoint, they're monitoring services, they're looking for things that the company uses to make sure services are up and running. Uh, when something bad happens, it, tr it should be automated, uh, which means in the MSP world, that's going to create a ticket, and the ticket's something that an engineer is going to look at and resolve. A lot of this stuff can be automated nowadays through scripting, so sometimes the automation can actually correct the issue, like restart the service, or actually quarantine the file, or send out a notification, hey, this is what happened, to the actual ownership of the business. So that's something that more of a traditional MSP will do. And in MSPs, they can range from just a few engineers to very large companies that manage, um, that manage strictly the IT needs. An MSSP, uh, a managed security service provider, they're focused primarily on the security of the IT needs. So they are going to be very deep into uh, endpoint protection. They're going to be deep into the firewall. They're going to be deep into uh, application awareness of the applications that they're running. What platforms are they running this under? Are they in Azure? Are they in AWS? They're going to look across the entire spectrum of the businesses that they support. They're going to have sensors in place. They're going to get notifications based on that. And they're going to have to respond very quickly to, to those. There's a little bit of discussion within the community like what's the difference? Is a true MSSP, does it have a SOC, right? Do they have a security operations center? Typically, in order to run a SOC, you need at least eight engineers operating 24-7, 365. So that being said, it gets a little deeper into the weeds. A lot of people utilize a lot of this terminology and it means something different to it does to someone else. There's different standards out there. There's NIST is a common name that comes across. We're talking about governmental standards. They kind of set the the basically the this is what the foundation of one, you know, what a, what a SOC should look like. They don't really define an MSSP, but a lot of people who are MSSPs are not necessarily a SOC. They're basically utilizing other companies and leveraging their technology to make them uh, compliant under the MSSP portal. So in other words, they may not have uh, under their company uh, logo and company name an actual SOC, but they may be outsourcing that service. And that in a way kind of allows them to operate as an MSSP. So find out you know, when you're, when you're talking and you're interviewing somebody for security support, maybe you have certain requirements that you need. Maybe you have to have um, an actual SOC uh, MSSP provider. If you do, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a little more pricier because they're monitoring, they have to respond within seconds of an actual attack. They need to be able to adjust and maneuver and, uh, deal uh, not just defensively but offensively a lot of times with these attacks. I know I use a lot of terminology and I know I use a lot of uh, jargon in there. Hopefully it's enough where you can you know Google search that or hey if you just want to have a discussion or talk 
you can always hit us up here at the office. Uh, service at securenetworkers.com, uh, 281-651-2254 if you want to talk to somebody live. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like our pages on social media. Again, Todd Ellis, Secure Networkers. Have a great day.